Hi, I'm Tom Harrison with Armstrong Flooring. You might have seen me in one of the other videos about our new Diamond 10 technology. If you've not seen those, you should check them out. Now today's video will focus on the latest application of this technology on our new ColorArt Medentech and Medentone with Diamond 10 technology coating. To borrow a line from one of those earlier videos, Diamond 10 technology is not bulletproof, nor is it maintenance free. And in the next few minutes, I'll go over the maintenance procedures that will help keep your homogeneous flooring looking great for years to come. Now, many of you have already seen or perhaps even demonstrated the performance benefits of this exciting new coating technology. The diamond infused coating provides industry leading scratch resistance and durability. And the highly cross-linked polymer matrix provides some hydrophobic properties that help repel water-based staining agents. Hydrophobic is a fancy term to describe something that repels or tends not to combine with water. Think of how water beads up on the surface of a freshly polished automobile. It's that same basic principle. Now, it's these hydrophobic qualities of our Diamond 10 technology that require some attention when the time comes to maintain your new Armstrong homogeneous flooring. Of course, you cannot conduct flooring maintenance without using water, but don't be alarmed, it's not a problem. And I'll discuss this issue further in a few moments. Now let's review the maintenance options for the new ColorArt Medentech and Medentone with Diamond 10 technology coating. It's important to note when compared to our existing homogeneous sheet flooring, there are no significant differences in, in specific uh, maintenance procedures. As a matter of fact, recommended daily and periodic maintenance procedures are pretty much the same. Current homogeneous products can be maintained with polish, with a no polish dry buff option, or a no polish spray buff option. Options for the Colorite Medentech and Medentone with Diamond 10 technology coating will include these same three options plus the addition of a no polish, no buff option. So more choices for our customers. So what will be different? Let's get back to this hydrophobic issue. Recall how a hydrophobic surface will repel most water-based solutions. Floor polishes and disinfectant cleaners are water-based solutions. So let's see what happens when we apply polish or disinfectant cleaner to the surface of our new Medentech and Medentone with Diamond 10 technology coating. Notice how the polish immediately beads up and does not wet out the surface. The same thing would happen with a disinfectant cleaner where full surface wet out is critical to the effectiveness of the treatment. Another issue with floor polish, even when it does properly wet out the surface, is how well it adheres or bonds to the surface once it is dried. Now, inadequate polish adhesion to urethane coated products is not new. And the same is true for our Diamond 10 technology. But to address this wet out and adhesion of floor polishes on our new coating technology, requires the one-time activation of the surface by scrubbing it with a sodium hydroxide-based stripping solution. Let me repeat that, a sodium hydroxide-based stripping solution. So if an end user wants to polish their new homogeneous sheet flooring, this procedure is required. Keep in mind that our current Medentone and Medentech, we require that the floor be scrubbed with a neutral cleaner to promote polish adhesion. So the only difference is in the floor care product use. Okay, let's see what happens when we apply polish to the surface of our new homogeneous sheet flooring with Diamond 10 technology coating after the activation process. Notice how the polish now wets out the surface, forming a nice uniform film. Now let's look at two larger pieces, one activated and one not, to which we applied five coats of polish. On the untreated sample, on the half Notice the blotchy, irregular appearance after the first coat. On the right half, we applied four additional coats. Now, while it does offer some improvement, the end result is an unacceptable appearance. Truth be told, the maintenance provider would have stopped working immediately when they saw the first coat failing to wet out the surface. Compare this to the activated sample. Results speak for themselves. Can other types of stripping solutions or neutral cleaners be used uh, in the activation process for floor polishes? 
Well, the short answer is no. While neutral cleaners and other type of non-sodium hydroxide-based strippers do promote wet out of floor finishes to varying degrees, they're not nearly as effective at promoting dry polish adhesion, so they should be avoided. Sodium hydroxide-based stripping solutions are the key to this one-time activation process for applying floor polish. If you do it right the first time, you do not need to do it again. Now back to the germicidal cleaners and an important note. To get these types of solutions to wet out, one can certainly use a sodium hydroxide-based stripper. However, with the technology coating on our new homogeneous products, sufficient wet out can be achieved by scrubbing the floor with Armstrong S485 commercial floor cleaner at a dilution rate of six ounces of this neutral cleaner per one gallon of water. So there you have it, a quick rundown on the maintenance options, procedures, and differences for the new ColorArt Medentech and Medentone with Diamond 10 technology coating. Detailed information about our maintenance procedures, as well as a list of suitable sodium hydroxide-based strippers can be found in the ColorArt Medentech and Medentone with Diamond 10 technology coating maintenance recommendations brochure available on our website. Thanks for watching.